Hopefully I'll finally get through this chapter so I don't have to keep starting videos in the middle of fights. This is getting annoying. Okay, so I just need to take these guys out one at a time. Watch out for the fireballs, watch out for their attacks. Come on, Momiji, D. Lin. Why aren't you doing this for me? It's a very simple thing. It's all I ask. I need these D. Lins. I'm not good enough to beat these guys otherwise. Whoa. Okay, here's an easy way to take this guy out. It'll take a little bit of time, but it's quick. Here we go. Okay, I think that's it. Yes! Dragon Ninja, but we've caught a Shrine Maiden instead. Give Sanji back to me. You are a fool to have come alone. Your recklessness will cost you. Careful! Don't underestimate her! This may not be the prey he intended to catch. <laughs> but I'm always game for a Fight. And now we are at the boss fight of this level, and in case you didn't think this level was annoying enough, they throw in a double boss fight for you. Luckily it's not too bad. What The red one likes to get in your face, while the other one likes to stay behind and throw explosives at you. So basically, the idea is to take out the red one first, and then since the blue one just can't stay back and throw explosives at you anymore, you have to get in his face. Ah, damn it. Of course, when you dash right into their attacks like that, they have an easy chance. They have an easy uh, time winning. But that's the basic gist of this fight. And now that we've reached it, we have passed the checkpoint, and we don't have to do that last fight over again. I hope. Let's find out. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if I have to do that bullshit all over again, I'd be pissed. Whoa. Okay, so... Slow and steady wins the race with this fight, really. Well, it would be nice to just take this guy out quickly. Uh, you really want to focus on dodging. And always be on the lookout, because their combos can change up at any minute. Whoa! Ah, damn it! Okay, like always, one more attempt, and then I think I'll start cutting until I get to the su successful take. And I'll also eventually get to the take where I stop stuttering. For someone who is a native English speaker, I don't speak it very well. Oh well. Loading. Flashing ninja symbol. There we go! Haha, -ha, you fail. Okay, so dodge, counter. Yeah, and uh, while the red one is still around, if the blue one gets too close to the action, he just backs away. Haha! -ha. Oh, damn it, he guarded. Whoa! Nice counter. I'll have to give him that. Hey, the blue one actually got in on the action. Good for him. Oh, they're switching it up now. Oh, shit! Well, okay, I think I'll start cutting it now. So, yeah, when we come back, hopefully I'll have reached a su successful take. We get a cutscene, and then we move on to Chapter 6, finally. So, just hold on for that.
Back in action. I got a good feeling about this. I think I can win. Key word is think, but hey. Remain optimistic and all that. Smile in the face of danger and whatnot. And just have a good time along the way. As hard as that is. Okay. Just want to keep my eye on that blue guy, because I've had this happen several times where I'm dealing with one of these guys, and the other guy just rushes in and grabs me and kills me instantly. Not fun when that happens, trust me. Also, as always, look out for the grabs. I've noticed something, uh, when you're in air, that grab attack just sort of swats you out of the air rather than actually hits you. So, uh, it's the w best way to avoid that instant death. Okay, I'm gonna try and distance myself from the blue guy. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Not what I want to do. It's your fault for getting in too close. There you go. I hope you understand what you did wrong. Okay, let's put some distance between us and these guys. I do not like it when one of the... Either of these guys get too close to each other, because that means that there's a pretty good chance the other one's going to try and grab me. And I like to stay at high health, just in case I do get hit by a combo, because they do hit fairly hard. To their credit. It's not just the instant kills you have to worry about. How many, uh, yeah, I'll use one of these up. Okay. Ah! Those knives are annoying when they do hit. They rarely do, but when they do hit, it usually screws me over. Okay, I think the other blue guy... Ah! Whoops, jumped right into him. Okay. Oh, right, gotta focus on him. That's the thing, when uh, you get into a fight with the other guy, the camera doesn't immediately focus on them. It just sort of, uh, remains on the other guy, despite the fact that he's not really doing anything. Very dangerous if you don't correct this. Not paying attention to the guy who's trying to murder you is generally not a good thing. Okay. Come on. Let's back it up a little bit. I'm not sure what these guys' names are. I just call them Red and Blue. Or Blue and Red, as the case is right now. No white, so we can't be all, like, patriotic in America and shit. LOL America. I'm, I'm sorry, that was lame. If you were here, I would let you hit me, because that was stupid. And I should feel bad for saying that. Okay, there wasn't anything overtly terrible about it, it was just kind of dumb. Why I said it, I'm not sure. Okay.
Whoa, watch out. Also, uh, since I haven't actually been hit by it, it's probably fairly obvious at that point, at this point, but that whirlwind attack is a one-hit KO. So don't stand near it. Luckily, it's probably their most easily choreographed... Ah, I keep doing that. Yes! Got him! Finally! I had a lot of failed attempts on this. Sanji. Sanji. <clears throat> Homiji? Is that you? Sanji. Oh, you're all right. Mobiji. The village. I, I couldn't... It's okay. Everyone is worried about you. Let's go home. Until the day you become a true ninja, I will always watch over you. Promise. And there we go, that is chapter 5 finally completed. That took me like, what, a month and a half? Uh, yeah, that took way too long. I'm sorry, I just really did not like that chapter. It was okay on mentor mode and warrior mode, but on master mode? It's some kind of new bullshit. Some kind of breed that I am not familiar with. I'm not sure what to say about it, it just sucks. But hey, the good news is that it's over and I can move on with the rest of the game. Until we get to Chapter 8, where we have to play as a different character again. Though thankfully, that one is much better to play as. Much better than Momiji. Which is kind of ironic, actually, when we see who the character is. Okay, so, Chapter 6, we're kind of switching uh, planes here. We were in New York, but now we're in Venice. And, uh, we're dealing with the Greater Fiend Wolf, Ruler of the Storms. Let's see, what costume was I wearing? I, it's been a while, so... Oh, the default one. Let's go with Classic. I really do like the Classic look. Since I'll probably never show it off, there was a uh, promotional costume that came with, uh, I think, pre-ordering this game. And, uh, if you wanted to, it's now DLC that's available to buy, but, yeah, no thanks. I don't really like this game that much. I mean, it's not a bad game on the earlier difficulties, but I'll get to that later.
Yeah, you wish you could kill these things that easily. Also, I like how Ryu is just casually strolling around Venice in full ninja gear. Master of subtlety he is. Okay, so we've got werewolves. Yep, werewolves. Oh, yes. Come on, buddy. This is really the best you got. I expected you to be tougher. Here we go. Yes. Okay, I think he's dead. Yeah, that's probably dead. Oh, they're both dead. Nice. Okay, I think there's some treasures over here. Or maybe not, just some fancy gondolas. These are some nice looking gondolas. Hmm. I guess more there was a treasure in one of these. I mean, I like my gondolas as much as the next guy, but... Uh, any crystal skulls that I missed? Yeah, chances are we're not going to find any crystal skulls here, because, uh... You, like you mentioned before, uh, they save from game to game, so... I probably found all the ones that were easy to find, and now they're just so well hidden. I've got a good enough discount anyways, it doesn't really matter. Okay, since I'm already using it, let's upgrade the Endless Fang. That's a good weapon for dealing with these things, actually. Oh, it's uh, upgraded. It'll do the damage that I need it to. Thank you, Muramasa. You're a pretty cool guy. So now I just need to get to the next save point with this thing, and I will have saved my fully upgraded uh, Endless Fang. Uh, whenever there's nothing around like this, it makes me nervous. But I don't think this is the way. There's a goodie over there. I don't feel like getting it. Yes, I do like the word goodies. For some weird reason. Okay, you, if you want to get in like this, so be it. Come on. I got more than enough for you guys. Yes! Love doing that. The Endless Fang has got one of my favorite ultimate techniques, to be honest with you. Right next to uh, the Lunars. Oh, jeez. Hmm, let's try... Let's try Wind Blades out. That did nothing. Oh, wait, it, it did D-Lim him. Take him out like that. Ah. If it were just the werewolf, this wouldn't be too problematic, but with this guy here, it makes it kind of an issue. Here we go. That's what I wanted, really. Whoa! Do not let these guys get in too close. Not a fun experience. They're not too difficult, but they are still werewolves, so... Yeah, they can do some nasty damage to you. Up, uh, here comes the Werewolf Brigade. Now, if they really wanted to be funny, they could have had this take place in Venice. Or, uh, no, not Venice. We're in Venice. Uh, London. But, I don't think they were that clever. Ah, here we go. Save point. Ooh, and new weapon. Remember how the Dragon's Claw and Tiger's Fang were pretty situational in the old game? Well, this time, around, this time around, they've actually uh, tweaked with the mechanics of it and made it a more suitable weapon. Now it works way better, so it's actually pretty good in this game. In fact, the best weapon in the game is actually a variant on this weapon. It's uh, sort of an upgrade to it. We won't see it until much later, though. But yeah, I finally beat Chapter 5. So now we've got more Ninja Guy and Sigma 2 to look forward to with, a d with Ryu, so yeah. I hope to see you guys with that, and until next time, well, just enjoy Ryu doing this. That's actually one of the best attacks in the game. Oh yeah, just wait. Until next time.